Right, there we go. So I cut that off a little bit earlier because we want to get into the fight. So let's go through, shall we? Toggle, blame Elias Blue. Toggle, blame Elias Blue. Toggle, Clowns Blue. Toggle, Chocolate Paladins Red. Toggle, Seafoes Red. Sorry about that. Should have been prepared, but this is why I made it so I can change it on the fly, because I just knew I would make mistakes and I could just change it like that. So we're all good. Right. The defenders are Seafoes. They have four malls. They've got one short sword, four pole axes, a pike, two longbows, a jewel blade, and two... Oi. I think the longbows probably won't be staying longbows for the beginning of it. Or for the whole fight. Um, the attackers are three moles, a long sword, three short swords, a glaive for the big buff, four pole axes, a short bow, jewel blades, and a pike. Barely any cavalry on the field from both teams. We'll go through again properly now. There'll be time and time to talk about their setups before we go through. There's not going to be a sally out from Seafoes though. Um, because sally out with infantry would not make sense. They've got a Keshi Gub, which is probably going to be covering the side gate. Mm, the attackers are starting with a Namcam, obviously, so they can just pressure on the wall. A lot of Fort Abrachios. They've got Claymores as well. A couple of sets of Claymores. Halberdier Sergeants, Modal. Uh, a couple of Matelitori to push towers. They've only got two, though. This is going to be missing. So, Hayes Cam, I'm missing the ring finger on my right hand. Just don't show the missing one, Simka. I actually wanted the missing finger, and they wouldn't give it to me. Can you believe that? They're my own actual finger, and they literally wouldn't give me it. Belly. <laughs> right. There we go. Good. The Seafoes might actually be defending the wall here, looking at this. They're at least moving stuff up onto the steps. Defending the wall, I don't know if it's going to be a good idea, because the whole A point's completely trebable. Um, Look at this black band in the background there. Terrible. Terrible people. <laughs> right, the defenders have got a lot of cavalry. I didn't see that. They've got a lot of outriders. Um, that might be a problem for them, though, because We Are Clowns has a lot of pikes. Like, they have a lot of Imperial Pike Guard. They have a lot of Modal. They have a lot of Fort Abrachio. Halberdier Silence are very good against cavalry as well. Um, unless they decide to sally out, then they're probably going to do that when they lose the... lose. Like, when they pull back from the walls, they might change to, like... Uh, outriders to put pressure upon the, the stairs and stuff when they're pushed down so they can constantly put damage on. But if We Are Clans can force them into a big engagement, they're going to struggle, I feel, with that much cavalry. They've just got so much pikes to stop it. So, a couple of Zakalian on both teams. One flame is for the attackers. Don't see any more. We have Shenjin, a couple. No, there are two sets. The attackers, three Zakalian militia, a couple of Namcam. No flamers for the Flame is defenders, multiple Shenjin zone of Tercia. Okay. Great, and how are you doing, bud? Do I go as Thomas Simpson on Halloween? That is the plan at some point to go as a Simpson character. But obviously, for reasons, it would be clearly better if I actually only had eight fingers and was missing one on each hand. However, just for the lols, I don't actually want to get my finger amputated. Another one amputated. <laughs> Stefan B, how are you doing, bud? Welcome, welcome everyone. So, we've got here, We Are Clowns are attacking against Seafoes. Uh, we Are Clowns are at the top of their leaderboard. This is the last matchup and then they're basically in the fight, like a, let's say just a, a final, it's almost like a friendly between them and Pongard because Pongard have won the other group. Mm. Table-wise, it doesn't make a difference who wins or who loses. They won't change their position enough to make a difference, like who goes into the, the Premier League next season. And who stays down in the worst one, so we'll see. Ariana, how are you doing? I'll change your name so I can actually see it's you. Like, it won't change it for everyone else, but I'll be able to see it's you. And thank you for the follow. I'm going to assume that's Ariana. It's actually blocked, so I can't see it. There it is. Cheers, bud. Right, so they're actually pushing up onto the wall now. Seafoes are probably going to pull back here. They might just try getting in... Iron Reapers? That is Iron Reapers. That Trev's not too much. The Reapers are already gone. Defoes have still just got their stuff on the back stairs, not actually going to do anything. Doing a pretty decent push with their units. I would assume they're probably just going to hold here for now. A couple of guys are going to go in a second and get A. Side gate's nothing going on, so Soy Krim. 
The door's still open, though. And there was a tactic yesterday where basically the attacking team would get A. I think it was um, Chocolate Paladins that did it. I just had to think then. I was like, it was an American team. Which one was it? It was an American team. <laughs> they took A, basically went down with just heroes and got the resupply, died, uh, respawned fairly quickly and basically spawned at the back gate, broke through the back gate and then tried pushing through. Timing wasn't quite right and their unit composition was far too cavalry heavy. Um, but we might see something similar from We Are Clowns here, possibly. I thought Brachios might get bashed there if the attackers have got uh, Zakalian with them. They've got two sets of Namcams, they'll be able to melt that fairly quickly. Oh, they're pulling back now. <clears throat> Imagine having two thumbs and seven fingers. <laughs> How are you doing, Anbud? It's me, Karen from HR. <laughs> Drayton, are you not actually Dr. Drayton now? Or do you not have like all your, your stuff done through yet? I thought you were done now. Or are you just waiting like on your final marks? On your papers and stuff. So they're obviously capped A. The Namcams are just going to be constantly firing. Putting in the damage. The defenders have got one set of Outriders up. They've got a couple of Shenjins as well. A couple of Iron Reapers. Fort Bracken and Dao. They're concentrating on the middle courtyard, if you like. So obviously you've got three entrances. Three of the four entrances in, in, into the actual city. Covered with the majority of your dudes over here. They've still got a Madao on the back gate. Uh, they're braced. The gate is closed. I can't see... I can't see We Are Clowns going over this way yet. What are they waiting for? They're waiting for anyone to like change units. Is that what's going on? The gate's down. Someone, I think, Weiro's poor Matelitori getting absolutely murdered there. <laughs> it's only Matelitori though, so it doesn't make a difference. Oh, they pushed down with their heroes. Okay. Are they going for specialist units? They've lost. They've left all of their units on the top, so this is the tactic that we saw yesterday with Chocolate Paladins. Temple Shot said as well that they did it in training against both um, against Chocolate Paladins and Blame Elias. So a lot, a lot of the guys from We Are Clans just died, but all of their units are safe upon the wall. Although a lot of them are retreating now. Zepho's going to try killing as many as they can, obviously, for free kills. Hmm. Possibly what We Are Clans should have done there is X move their stuff off of the wall and then come through. But they're going to all spawn on this side. There was only one unit to block. Defos, I assume, watched the match yesterday. They've already got guys rotating. It's not going to be enough, though. Yeah, it's not going to be enough. The we Are Clans had far too much. They've got cavalry, but We Are Clans have got a lot of pikes. There's Fort Abrachio coming. There's Cataphrax going to be good there as well. Grey Hair is going to be a good stable unit. Thought Abrachio, was that Madao in the front? I can't see, you know, they're all blurring into each other. I swear to God, there was something about no unit attires. Right, so they're blocking off the side point here. Obviously, We Are Clans are going to push onto the supply point. Kicker Dunkle's already on the end point. Um, has long seen it. No. Now we have. <clears throat> There's four guys going to be there, they're going to be able to stop that. I'm trying to cover everything, but it's kind of difficult because there's fighting everywhere. So there's a big brawl in the bottom down here, though. Seafoes are definitely going to lose that. It's like six against two. Mm. Seafoes can get enough numbers at this resupply, though. The guys up at the resupply from We Are Clans are going to struggle. Stay alive. But again, a lot of cavalry coming in from Seafoes. And there are a lot of pikes on the field from We Are Clans. So they might start getting the better of those engagements. Unit-wise, both teams have lost very similar amounts. Obviously... We Are Clowns lost a lot more heroes because they sacrificed themselves over there to get the quick rotation onto the back gate down here. Good position to fight here though because you draw everyone in, you can treb all of this. We have Lashal here in the background, he's going around for a flank. you got Never Touch Me, Scabies coming around the back as well. you just got enough guys from Seafoes just pinning them in place at the front. you got Fort Brachios on the side now though. Are they going to cover the back line? They're going to have Madao I think set up here in a second. Yeah they are. So those cataphracts are going to come in. Madawa are already braced. They just got stopped by some heroes as well. That first cavalry is going to go down. Cavalry is coming from the other side, but IPG walks. Fort Brachios are stopping it. I thought this. I thought this might happen when I seen the loadouts, man. Seafoes, I think, had a little bit too much cavalry to deal with the just the, the absolute pike war that uh, we are clowns were bringing to the table.
They're not yet making a move on the end point though. The defenders are down five players as well. Attackers are down one. But they've got they've basically got the end point blocked off now. Like the, these shields with Fort Abrachios and stuff is gonna be difficult to get through. They might even have flamers here. Yeah, there they are. There they are. So they've basically got the main avenue blocked. There's obviously the side entrance here that the defenders can get through onto the end point. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we see some of these guys breaking off from the resupply in a second and setting up a second blockade there. And then the rest will start mopping up on, on, on point. Yeah, so the guys that have uh, died and respawned back in now, Dunkle, are going to push onto the point from the, if you like, the normal side. We've got a couple of the guys rotating up now. It looks like, are they just going for the end point? They're not actually going to block this bit off here. Interesting. Although there's a Treb coming, so that's going to do work on those IPGs by the looks of it. Yeah. The unit disparity is now definitely in the uh, We Are Clowns' favour. They're leaving the resupply because they don't need it anymore. Most of the stuff that's coming in, they, they're outnumbered here. The CFOs have to obviously get to the end point, otherwise they lose. But We Are Clowns have got that block, they've got it Treb. Uh, they've got the Pikes to block this as well, they've got Flames up to block this. They've got Madao blocking it, Fort Abrachio. They've got Zakali Militia in the background doing work as well. Um, there's one unit Fort Abrachio that could still try and block the end point there. Zoom out a little bit, wrong button. So we've got a couple of heroes from the defenders on point. There's a cavalry unit. They might have actually got in there well. No, they got stopped by Kicker, I think. A uh, Kicker. They're all called Kicker. <laughs> I think that was Temple Shot got his um, lock up of strikes off and stopped the cavalry there. And then obviously the Fort Abrachio just do so much damage. It was, it was GD. I just did a mall grab. That's cheap. They're not going to get through there. They've only got seven dudes left. Very, very strong push from We Are Clowns, man. The Slider QT with the MVP. Wincrow, though, with the more unit kills. But 41997, 211130. So even though We Are Clowns sacrifice most of their heroes to get the fast. Um, to get the fast rotation to spawn basically at the side gate and then come straight through. Um, they lost a lot more, a lot less heroes than CFOs. Very, very good strategy. Very well executed. Smooth. A lot of pikes. Um, and it was based there was rock, paper, shotgun. And pikes just beat cavalry. They had so much pikes.